What's up, comic fam, comic fans? And it's time for that new comic book day haul plus review. So we're gonna get into the books. We got some 50 centers this week. That's right, Return of the 50 Centers. Plus, we're gonna get into the new books. We're gonna do it all right after this. Spartans, what is your profession? Welcome back. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. All right, let's get into it. All right, we got the 50 centers. You know, when I do 50 centers, I like to kind of keep a small, loose theme. So this week we have Cable. Ooh, exciting 50 centers. This was a two-part miniseries. This is Cable Blooded Metal 1 and 2. Not sure who did the cover on one. Oh, yeah, JRJR. So, John Romita Jr. on cable one and two. All right, then we got cable Future Shock. Special X Men anniversary issue. We've got cable number six, Father and Sons, with Mr. Sinister on the cover and Domino. I guess we got two Cable Future Shocks. All right. <laughs> In case you didn't see it the first time. This this might be a wraparound cover. I don't know. We did a lot of those back, back in the Dizzy. It is a wraparound cover. It's actually one of these fold-out covers. Let's see. Can I do this? guess you guys saw it all uh can't tell don't have the extra monitor up. uh and that's it guys those were <laughs> the cable books for this week those were the 50 centers pretty cool pretty cool all right let's get into this week's books So on this week's books, we're going to start off with DC. We've got Batman number 154. Return to like, you know, Batman being a detective in this one. So you got all the key players in here. Commissioner Gordon Bullock. Got Chip Zdarsky writing it. Good stuff. All right. Next up from DC, we got Absolute Superman number one. All right. This Superman is, is different. He grew up. He knew his parents. We're still kind of finding out. We know Krypton gets blown up, um, but we're still kind of finding out who and what. This is a different Krypton than the Krypton from from the Superman, right? <laughs> and Action Comics. This is a different, darker, right? They got a caste system, right? With different tiers. There's a worker class. There's, you know, a, a, a ruling class, if you will. The science class seems to be the biggest class. But um, on, on Krypton before it all, blows up and it's you know hubris and pride that kind of take the uh the kryptonians out uh anyway good read this superman you know he's got he's got some learning to do this is a very young superman right let's put this this is superman year zero so he's still learning um and speaking of superman we have dc from the all in right 1074 action comics and this superman's on krypton right he goes into the Phantom Zone gets teleported to Krypton. Is meeting his family. You know, um, he makes mention that he's older than his dad at this moment in here. Um, he doesn't introduce himself as, as the, you know, uh, the son. Um, I think he says he's uh, Clark, Clark N or something like that uh, in this book, uh, or Clark N, right? Like you know, Jor El, Clark N. Anyway, um, yeah, it's a good, it's a good read. It's a fun read. Mark Wade is writing that book. Excellent writer. All right, we're gonna switch to the indies, and we have Gunslinger Spawn number thirty-seven. Brett Booth on the cover. Carlos Barbieri on the interiors. Todd McFarlane still writing this book. Um, didn't read it yet, so <laughs> we'll get to that. We have something is killing the children. Zero. All right, this is a prequel. Jessica Slaughter is um, Jessica slaughtering. She kills a monster in here, saves a kid 
who had some appendages ripped off because you know in his book something is killing the children or some things a lot of things um with this an introduction of a new character in here i think we've got to figure out who that is this is probably going to lead us into the next arc of something is killing the children all right they're talking about um the trials for jessica slaughter so it seems like she's in for some stuff all right last from the indies we have fml number one out of dark horse uh this revolves around some kids who are you know in a band they're all like heavy metal and, and punk they're all different right they're that different crowd um they find like you know their own hangout spot which happens to be i believe an abandoned toilet anyway um they find like what's considered an old incantation one of the the main character in here their mom used to be like a rock star punk rock star and i guess talks about you know um selling their souls to some some being and you know just so they could be famous and they find some uh, some witch craft some incantation they do the incantation and then the kid wakes up the next day as a furry monster let's put it that way so don't want to give up too much of it fun story um kelly sue DeConnick writing that one so fml i liked it check it out this is not the a cover this is like the e cover or something like that but it was a fun cover so i got that all right this randomly came from my comic shop uh i guess i ordered all the san diego comic-con exclusives through px um so this was limited to 3,000. This is Reign of Superman, number one, Kari Andrews, black and white cover. I didn't read it. Um, I will, eventually. And then this is the last book, guys. The only book from Marvel. Man, I used to get nothing but Marvel books, right? It'd be 90% Marvel and then a couple of other books from the indies and DC. But now the game has changed. I got one book from Marvel. Fun read. Um, just a good way to introduce this character to the 616. But this is Kahori, Reshaper of Worlds. You may remember her from the Disney What If series, all right? Her powers come from the Tesseract. Uh, she fights a, a Loki from her dimension. She's not from the 616, all right? But she does take a trip to the 616, so now Kahori can be involved with the 616 if it needs to happen. Uh, but yeah, fun story that integrates Kahori into like I said, into the 616, introduces her into comics. That's her first comic appearance. Um, and it is a character that uh, most people seem to respond to. I believe these, uh, a lot of the Kahori number one sold out. So did Absolute Superman, of course. Um, so those were probably two of the harder books to find this week. All right, comic fam, comic fans. That was my new comic book day haul. Plus, you know, tiny review. Um, if you like the content, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Go ahead and throw me a thumbs up and comment down below. All right, have you seen my beach ball? Did it go that way? Did it go that way? Anyway, <laughs> thank you for joining me. Do what you do. I'm going to do what I do. I'm going to get ready for next week's comics. Peace. Deuces.